my goodness, guys, this Christmas market, it's, it's just even more incredible than what I even remembered. Yeah, and you know, everything going on with the pandemic right now, we cannot believe that we are actually here right now. Honestly, I really didn't think this was going to happen. And ah, uh, gosh, I just feel so lucky. Yeah, for sure. A SARS-like virus which has infected hundreds in China. Expanding the nationwide booster campaign. Many more families are going to lose loved ones. Among an individual in California who was caused by the Omicron variant. Das Coronavirus verändert zurzeit das Leben in unserem Land dramatisch. While there is still no word on the cure for the virus, government officials report. Hey Jonathan, can you come here for a second? Yeah, what's up? Um, I just got this email from the Hawk Schwarzwald Tourismus team. Yeah. It says, hello Ashton, we would like to inform you that the decision of the state government on the further procedure with regard to the Christmas markets is still currently pending and has just been postponed to Saturday. All tickets for December 3rd remain. So you mean they close tomorrow? Yeah, like today's the last day for the Christmas market at Ravenna Bridge. Well, oh, holy shit. we got the right ticket, didn't we? Oh, oh my god. That's insane. Oh man, that's big news. Hi, we're Ashton and Jonathan. And along with our son Jack, we're the Black Forest family. Living in Germany since 2013, follow us along on our weekly adventures of living, working, and raising a family abroad all the while building our dream house in the Black Forest. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Tonight, we are so excited to take you along with us on what can only be described as, at least in our opinion, the most beautiful Christmas market in all of Germany. I would say probably the most beautiful in Europe. I mean, it really cannot be understated. A picturesque Christmas market underneath an illuminated train bridge tucked away in a little valley in the Black Forest. Covered with snow. Yeah, I mean, Weihnachtsmarkt are already super magical places to visit this time of year, but add in this particular location and you really have the stuff that movies are made of. But interestingly enough, up until this exact moment right now, we didn't think it was ever going to happen. We actually booked tickets for tonight two months ago, well in advance of the current rise in corona number cases in Germany. And with Christmas markets shutting down across the country, we honestly gave this maybe a- 5% chance, yeah. even that. So tonight is 2G+, plus, meaning we had to go get our COVID test, even though that we're vaccinated, and we should be getting our results within the next half an hour which is really cutting it close because yeah. our bus is coming to pick us up in one hour. So let's keep our fingers crossed for that negative test result. And let's make our way out to the bus. Okay, results are in. Negative. Woohoo! Let's go! So, I'm not gonna lie, there's a little part of me that was just a little bit nervous about this COVID test. Not solely because we just really want to go to the Weihnachtsmarkt, but you can probably tell that my voice is not exactly how it normally is. I feel great. Um, but the little bug that Jack was dealing with over Thanksgiving, he has so graciously shared with me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize now that if I sound like a prepubescent 14 year old boy this evening, um, I hope my voice won't be uh, that distracting. I'm fine. <laughs> totally fine. I, I don't know why it's coming out all loud and squeaky cause really I'm fine. <laughs> So if you're interested in going to the Ravenna Gorge for the Christmas market specifically, there's actually three ways that you can get there. The first is to drive, but that's kind of problematic. Yeah, so I've been told that you need to basically reserve your parking spot about one year out because the parking there is extremely limited. But then the second way you could get there is probably the most popular, and that's to take a regional train here from the Hauptbahnhof in Freiburg 
get off at either Himmelreich or Hintersartem and take a free shuttle to the Christmas market. Yeah, you know, we did this about two years ago and on the way back, we waited 40 minutes outside in the cold for the train to show up. And because now a little guy here is on my back, this isn't really the avenue we want to go. No, but this year they're actually offering something brand new. It's a shuttle that leaves directly here from the city center in Freiburg and takes you all the way to the entrance of the Christmas market in Ravenna Gorge. And honestly, the price for all of this was really great. It was only 11 euros a person for a one hour transfer and entrance for two hours into the Christmas market. Yeah, you know, it was really only a couple bucks more per person than the train normally is. And that's a price we're willing to pay for Jack. Jack, are you excited? Yeah? Yeah! yeah. I cannot believe this place is real. It's so beautiful. Hello, yeah, I had to get a Feuer Zangenbola. A Feuer Zangenbola, nur eine? Nur eine, bitte. Six euros. So this is by far my favorite drink. I've waited two years to come back to this Christmas market for this. This is the Foya Zangenbola. And essentially what they do is they put a bit of brown sugar on a spit, dip it in rum, light it on fire, and top off your warm glass of blue vine with it. It's, the presentation is pretty beautiful, but it tastes pretty great as well. Cheers. Oh, it's so good. There's so much better at a Weidenox Mark than it is at home. I was really hitting the spot. It is really cold out here right now, so this is great. You know, I don't actually think this is probably a medical treatment for my lost voice, but I'd like to think that it helps just a little. Yeah, this is perfect. Right? Um, I should get 100 grams. Yep, very good. Thank you. Schön. On the way, there is an extra tool to finish on the Ah, perfect. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. roasted on an open fire. I used to always think this was kind of make believe when I was a kid, but here they are. And the smell. Oh, I love the smell. Oh, they're delicious. Oh my goodness. I'm eating another one. So one of the things that I love about the Weihnachtsmarkt here in Ravenna Gorge is that all of the vendors come from around the Black Forest. The Hochschwarzwald Tourismus, who puts on this event, makes an effort to really get local vendors and local ingredients involved. So this grillwurst is compliments of a local Metzgerei. Very good, oh my goodness. Oh, that's delicious. I don't really know how to describe it. Overall, yeah, it's what I would expect to order. Oh. Okay, so Jack is a little bit tired and Ashton is walking around with him right now to try to keep him a little bit entertained. 
So I am left here to enjoy this crepe all by myself. And I am notoriously bad at doing food reviews, but I'm gonna give this one my best chance because, uh, yeah, Ash is not here to support me. But we've had a couple of savory items, so I think it's fair right now that we go with a crepe. And crepes are very, very popular here because we are so close to France. So I went with a crepe filled with Nutella. That was maybe too big of a bite. Oh, that is so, so, so delicious. This thing, if you can see it, I feel like this is mostly just Nutella, but it's just kind of wrapped in like a, it's a crepe, so you know what it is. I feel a little bad because I'm eating this entire thing by myself. Oh, but it's so tasty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold, hold on a second. I'm editing this video and Jonathan is leaving out a very important detail. Jack was really starting to get quite sleepy and cranky. So I took him for a walk just to try to settle him down and soothe him. I had thought that when I came back, I would also get to try this lovely Nutella crepe. So I'm gonna leave it up to you for a second. Mull this over for a minute. Do you think Jonathan actually saved a little bit of that crepe to then give to me, his loving, selfless wife who was taking care of his firstborn child? Or do you think he stuffed the whole thing in his mouth and ate it for himself? Oh God, I love Nutella. Well, I'm gonna another one. For the record, he did not go back and get me one because the line was too long and we had to go catch the bus to get back to Freiburg. Yeah. Okay guys, so that wraps up our Ravenna Gorge Christmas market tour. Jack is, well, it's past his bedtime and it's really about time we headed back. But we hope that you enjoyed all of the wonders of this very special Christmas market as much as we did. This Christmas market in particular is Jonathan and I's absolute favorite. As you can tell, the setting is just stunning. But between all the local vendors, the special treats and all of the artisans, there's so many things to see and really appreciate about what all of the Black Forest has to offer. Now, if you happen to be in the area of Breitnau, TTC, or Hintersarten in the summertime, this is actually a wonderful place to visit as well, with hundreds of miles of hiking trails, as well as famous cuckoo clocks and glass blowing. There's honestly so much to do here year round. So even if you're not here during the November, December Christmas market season, we highly recommend that you come here to the Ravenna Schlucht or Ravenna Gorge, Ravenna Bridge, however you wanna call it, we highly recommend that you come here and check it out. It's really one of the great treasures of the Black Forest. All right, guys, thanks again so much for joining us today. If you liked today's video, we would love it if you hit that thumbs up button. And for more content from the Black Forest family, hit that subscribe button. So until next time, cheers.